Hello friends, extremely responsible with money and video games, but not in real life here, bringing you another Dota 2 video on one trick that Smurfs use to climb 1000 MMR in a week. In particular, we are going to be talking about a concept that I like to call soft committing to teamfights. One stark difference between immortal level pubs and every other bracket of pubs is that immortal players, they just value their lives more than everybody else. In lower level pubs, if a fight starts, basically anywhere on the map, everybody shows up to it, and 7 out of 10 people end up randomly dead. At this point, you might be thinking, Jenkins, did you really make an entire video just to feed me that standard line that you shouldn't show up to stupid fights? No, because I used to think that way, but I don't anymore. I think that's actually a really naive, best case scenario approach to Dota, and Dota is a game of mistakes at its heart. Instead, what I'm advocating is that you do show up to stupid fights, but instead of engaging in mortal combat when a fight starts, you should soft commit to these team fights instead of hard committing to them. So first, what is the difference between a soft commit and a hard commit when it comes to a team fight? Take a mid-game Sand King, for example. At that point in the game, you probably have a Blink Dagger, some upgraded boots, maybe a Veil, you have Max Burrow Strike, a couple of points in Epicenter, so basically the most important thing is you are ready to take a fight. Hard committing to a fight would be something along the lines of using Epicenter, blinking in, then Burrow Striking maybe one or two enemies. Soft committing to a fight would be something along the lines of walking in, using Sandstorm, and then hiding in the trees while still in your Sandstorm, kind of trying to do a little bit of damage but keeping yourself alive. What is the key difference between these two things? In the first scenario, you have expended all of your resources. If the enemies don't immediately die or run away from you because they think that they're too low HP to fight, then you're dead. In the second scenario, you still have plenty of resources left in the tank. If the enemies don't immediately die or run away from you, you can still blink or burrow out if the team fight looks like it's going to be shit. Moreover, you could still choose to epicenter and blink in and also burrow strike a couple of people if the opportunity presents itself. And that's the most important factor here. If you hard commit, you have two options. You fight or you die. If you soft commit, you have, once again, two options. You fight or you just run away. And this is precisely how smurfs always find themselves so overleveled in low rated games. They soft commit to fights, then they choose to go in if the enemies do something stupid, which they often do because Dota is a game of mistakes, or they escape the fight if their teammates do something stupid, which once again is bound to happen. Either way, they are either feeding off of noobs, or they are farming while their noob teammates are feeding. This results in them being super overfarmed and super overleveled in every game. Next, I want to show you a clip of Gabby. This is just some random SEA pub that he was playing. An AK MMR pub, so obviously, you know, it's good Dota, uh, but nonetheless, it's a pub. And so, he's playing Magnus. In this fight, he chooses to soft commit. Eventually, later, I would say that what he does is a bit of a hard commit, but once again, going back to the concept, this is exactly why you soft commit, so you have the choice. So, look at how he plays this fight. They're smoking around, the enemy team has just taken Roshan. If we look at what is available for Gabby and his team, he does not have reverse polarity. This is exactly why the enemy team is taking Roshan. They feel like they're strong because there is no RP and they're probably right. And so because of this, Gabby chooses to play this fight safely. What he does is he walks in and... He uses shockwave. That's that's literally it. He walks in, he shockwaves, and he doesn't. Uh, he empowers his PA. He doesn't blink in. He doesn't BKB. He doesn't try to go for any sort of crazy skewer on these heroes. And I realize what I'm showing you is the lack of something happening. But I guarantee you, in a lower level pub, this Magnus is going to blink in and try to do something because he's getting some mega Roche anxiety. Oh my god, they're getting Roche, they're getting Roche, I need to go in. But Gabby realizes that there's, you know, not much of a point in hard committing. It's a very dangerous fight without having RP. And then when the fight starts looking like it's going well, you have uh, Lycan that dies, Tree and Protector buys back, so this is now a 5v4. He finally blinks in 
and goes on the Oracle, uh, particularly because the Oracle is the most important hero in this game, and he revealed himself. So that's a, a very easy jump. So this next fight that I want to show you, in my opinion, demonstrates the concept a lot better. I just wanted to show you the first one that we talked about, just because I think it's a little bit more obvious. Uh, in, in this one, there's a lot less time of soft committing before Gabby chooses to hard commit, but you can see exactly uh, why he chose to hard commit, because, you know, it's fairly obvious. We'll, we'll take a look at this fight. So there is a fight that is currently happening mid. He skewers across this ledge here. He doesn't use blink. He uses skewer, so that way he still has the blink available to him. And then he walks in and presses empower on the PA. And so for a brief moment, he is soft committing. He is not going in. He's not blinking in, BKBing, doing anything crazy. He's just chilling. And then he sees this really beautiful RP opportunity on the back line here to get the mobile mid hero as well as the Oracle, who is the absolute most important hero because he's going to save anybody else that gets RP'd. And then he goes for the hard commit. And then he BKBs. So he fully commits at that point because that is the criteria that he set for himself. Okay, I'm going to hard commit if I see Oracle. And I think that's really important. It's not necessarily what the criteria is that matters. It's that you set criteria. Choose in what situation you are going to hard commit to fights and in what situation you are going to soft commit to fights within the game and then stick to it. The final clip that I want to show you is from a game where Paparazzi was playing, also Magnus, uh, where he doesn't hard commit to a fight, he doesn't have a blink dagger, but, you know, once again, doesn't matter what you have, this is a concept on every single hero with any items in the game, uh, where he soft commits to this fight, and as a result, he is actually able to survive, even though the fight is quite shit. So, as you can see, he's got a Juggernaut farming, he's got a Bane farming top, so this fight, it might be good, it might be bad, he shows up to it anyway. He walks in and gets ready to Shockwave, but he gets caught. The Lion hexes him, and then the Batrider uses Lasso on him, so all he wanted to do was walk up and Shockwave, uh, and then this happens to him. So the enemy team, they did a pretty good job catching him out, and the thing is, he could have skewered in and tried to RP, he could have skewered in and tried to hit the Shockwave, but he didn't. So as a result, they use every spell in the book on him, and he's able to RP the bat and skewer the bat towards the Juggernaut and walk away from it. Obviously, if we all exclusively soft commit to fights, then nothing is ever going to happen in a game of Dota, so that's not what you want to do, and there are certain criteria for when you should soft commit to fights. So number one, if you are a carry, you should almost always soft commit to fights, because it's literally your job to have as little deaths as possible and only take good fights. Two, if you think a fight is bad, you should probably soft commit because it gives you the option to join if the enemy team makes a mistake, but it lets you tentatively avoid the fight. Three, if you aren't sure if a fight is good or not, a lot of the time the best option is to just soft commit, because sometimes you only get a couple of great fights in a game, and you aren't sure which one is which, and missing them will make or break the game, so soft committing means that you can be there in case that turns out to be the game-winning fight. Okay, so... Now that we know when to soft commit, I, I think that's basically it, honestly, when do you hard commit to fights? Number one, if you are an offlaner, you almost always need to hard commit, because somebody has to be the guy that forces fights, and almost always this falls under the jurisdiction of the offlaner. Two, if the fight is good, you should probably hard commit to it, because by definition, when a fight is good, all you have to do is press your buttons, and you're going to win the fight and then probably the game. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate you checking it out and watching until the very end. If you would like to support your boy, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It seriously, genuinely does help out with the YouTube algorithm quite a lot, uh, as well as the Garbage Bin Hobos are going to be very expensive for me to deal with because I do plan on recruiting an entire army of Ukrainian hobos to come back to Canada with me to fight the Garbage Bin Hobos. Uh, plane tickets are actually quite expensive. We might do like two to a seat or something like that to figure it out, but I still need a lot of money, so make sure to go to ProGuides.com. Uh, I'm going to be leaving a link in the description below to a free class uh, that I did on initiators, and hopefully I'm going to have some more free classes on there soon that you can check those out as well. And hey, if you like it, maybe sign up. If you don't, eh, you know, what are you going to do? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you, and I hope to see you in another video.